Okay, you should have been looking at center of mass and center of gravity, and you should know what those are by now. You should know that the further I am from the center of gravity, the harder it is to lift something. If I put it close to my body, the easier it is to lift. So now we're going to look at if we do have a force out away from the center of mass, what will that force do? Well, in this case, we have 100 newtons and it's two meters away from this pivot. What's going to happen to the left hand side? Is it going to move clockwise or anti-clockwise? In this case, it moves downwards. So this is an anti-clockwise movement. If I kept on carrying round and round, it would be going anti-clockwise. This is shown as negative to distinguish it to clockwise moments. When we turn something with a force, that is called a moment. If the force is two meters from the, side, from the pivot, then the size of the moment is, we'll use this equation. Moment equals force times distance from the pivot, which equals 100 newtons times two meters which equals minus 200 newton meters. The minus, remember, is to show that it's an anti-clockwise movement. Easy question. If the force on the other side of the seesaw was 120 newtons, which way would it move now? Well, it's going to move down to the right, as 120 is bigger than 100. So this is a clockwise moment, because it's moving around this way, clockwise medium question but if it does turn clockwise then it is turning and we said that the turning effect of a force is called a moment so what's the size of the moment now well we have an anti-clockwise moment of minus 200 newton meters over here we have a clockwise moment of 120 times 2 which is 240 newton meters this is a plus because it's clockwise if we add these two together then we'll find out just like we did with resultant force, that there will be a resultant moment. In this case, it's plus 40 newton meters. This is positive, showing it's a clockwise moment. And that's what we would have thought. 120 here, 100 here, so it's going to move down this way, clockwise. A harder question. What if a third force joins? What would be the resultant moment now? So we're going to put a 50 newton meter, 50 newton force, one meter away. So now we have an anti-clockwise moment of 100, minus 200 newton meters here, plus, I'm going to put the minus in there to show it's another anti-clockwise moment, 50 times 1. So if I add these two together, I get minus 250 newton meters. I still have the clockwise moment of 240 newton meters. If I add all these together now, I get minus 250 plus 240 newton meters, which is minus 10 newton meters. This is negative, showing it's an anti-clockwise moment. So now the seesaw is going to move down this way. The principle of moments is, if the anti-clockwise moment and the clockwise moment are equal, then the lever, or in the, our case the seesaw, is, no, is balanced. This is known as the principle of moments. And there's our equations.